Hello all, it's Jim Johnson aka Sulphur Blade, and welcome back to War on the Sea and my continuing Let's Play series where we're featuring the Pacific Campaign mod. Um, so once again we have loaded up the save game and once again we see that we've gotten another fishing report of a submarine sighted somewhere near Pompeii. <clears throat> um, this is just frankly too close to truck for me to send the ASW squadron to uh, mess with. Actually though, I think a better use of the ASW squadron is to patrol the waters around Kazre. So we're gonna we're gonna head down here. <clears throat> for now with those guys and let's go ahead and get the game started uh, I've never seen sub on sub action in this game Not even sure it's possible. <clears throat> well, we flooded this area with planes. Alright, Task Force Pensacola. You can uh, repeat that. Enterprise. Task Force Enterprise, that is. You two can get in a repeating. <clears throat> We're just having having them loiter before they head in to bombard Kevang. Um, Task Force Renown is waiting on, still going to be waiting a while, the York, the Jervis, the two Jer Jervises are a few days off. <clears throat> just don't think there's an adequate enough screen for these guys to be let loose. I want to let them loose, uh, but no. <clears throat> Only two destroyers. Not going to happen. <clears throat>
All right, how has Yeah, not quite far enough yet. That's where the ASW group is going to patrol here around Kazre. Actually, it's probably time to start considering making our move. As for Spensacola, you're nine hours out, huh? So that's 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 is when we stop flying. So five hours until planes are grounded. That puts us just a little closer than we want to really be. So how about we take a a small hitch then come back six hours that's that's better and then we finish up there we go in the meantime enterprise you can uh, Do something like that. And Yorktown launch aircraft. Wildcats 18. Done. Over. Task Force Pensacola. Shuttle is back here to pick up troops, manage cargo, troops, troops. Counter at Wake Island. 
interesting. It's out of the norm. Alright, MFIP Group 1, you are here to pick up. Yes? Yes. Macaulay. Supplies. Troops. 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 That seems like a reasonable garrison, I think. <clears throat> we have torpedo bombers out here. Hmm. Avix, what do you think of this development of torpedo bombers appearing? All right, we're going to be doing a bit of micro up here around Wake. As my plan is to try to Shadow. Those guys. Have an encounter, sadly. Is this an encounter I want to fight? Fight at Will is off. My right, group one, head that way, climb. Group two, drop towards the deck. Do an immediate bout face.
now we're gonna wait to see which group the pack chases good and now we're gonna come around and hunt the hunters <coughs> sight on him. Um, they're obviously going high because they're chasing... Yeah, they're right up there. There are targets for. Is that habit going so much faster than me? Um, what are we chasing? This is not what I expected to see in front of me. I thought these were actual... These are Mavises. Why are we running from Mavises? And why aren't you shooting? So, at least I don't have to chase around um, targets that don't need to be chased around. The thought process was that these were carrier aircraft and they were going to lead us back to a nice juicy carrier. Well, that's obviously not the case because they're not carrier aircraft. So, uh, we just pointlessly shot down some AI planes because, well, AI get their planes back every day. 
regardless of supply situation. So we really didn't hurt hurt the AI in any way except for temporarily today. They won't have those planes, but that's not a big deal. Where did those planes, they, they must have came from truck. Okay, well, let's go home, guys. Yeah, Havocs are really nice planes. I really like Havocs. They give the speed of a bow fighter with, well, bigger payload. <clears throat> Do you need to be that close, Enterprise? You, you've gotten close enough. How about we... Do that for a bit. Task Force Pensacola, do your work. All right, that's brought Kavang down to level one. He pulls at level two. Japanese air power in the region has been drastically 
drastically cut down. Attic. Rearm. Air operations are now available. Yorktown launch eighteen wildcats. Put them over. Task Force Pensacola, please. And thank you. Food. Enterprise. Task Force Enterprise. Yorktown. Launch aircraft. Avengers with rockets. Done. Course. One hour. Uh, which way are they heading? I don't know. Markdown. She ignored them.
They seem to be traveling north. up go ahead and speed up Slow down. Target one. Every 
Everyone have fun. Food is down. And RTV. Now I believe we have some wonderful news we should check out. Those two pieces of food, I believe, have brought the enemy losses up to the magic number of 200 total ships sunk, which means that, um, where is it here, rules? Uh, somewhere here it says we're supposed to sink 200 ships Here it is. Sea lanes are open at 200 ships sunk. Which means, thanks to one of the viewers who pointed this out, that uh, our income is going to double. So that'll be nice. More fuel, more supplies, all of that jazz. So we'll be able to build bases up faster. Midway will have more stuff there to keep our logistics ships occupied. Speaking of logistics ships, we have Invasion Force Australia here wanting to, I believe, unload. That brings Ambon up to a very healthy number of troops. Question is, do we want to press the attack somewhere? I think we do. So I think we're just going to turn around and reload invasion force. Well, no, we don't have a carrier over here to protect our invasion. Crap. Mm, indeed. Uh, well,
back to Tarawa to grab more troops. We're bypassing Moresby because Moresby is currently depleted. If I have to be honest, Tara was depleted right now too, but by the time Invasion Force uh, Australia makes it to Tarawa, we'll have more troops there. Stop the presses. Really now? We have so many undef... well... ASW squadron isn't completely undefended, but relatively undefended fleets in this area. Is it returning or is it traveling to? Vanished in this neck of the woods. Looks like it's on its way back here. Hornet, launch aircraft, E, Dauntless's armor piercing.
something like that. Tauntlesses, armor piercing. Something like that. Troops, troops, of course, down to there. Keep a close eye on these Dauntlesses. Oh, you know what? I know where those are coming from. That's submarine. We know there's a submarine operating in this area. Those, those spotting planes are certainly from that submarine. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. All right, where are these Donalduses? Down here. ASW squadron has been encountered. Could we actually have an ASW engagement here? Oh god, it's dark. 
Um. Kearney, break formation, speed up. A burl, break formation, all back. Mahan, come to a moderate 15 knots. I can't see sh Jack Diddley squat, but I see something over here. Is that the Aburl? Boy, this is dark. Um, searchlights. Selected unit ceasing searchlights. Oh no, turn them back on. Are those torps? Those look like torps to me. Hard over. Actually, those are torps going that way. Kearney, slow your roll. Bring yourself around. Mahan. Rudder back to the right. Mm. A burl. Come this way. At five knots. Actually, no. Seven knots.
what is the weather right now? No lair. Sea state too. We should be all over this guy. Alright, Kearney, you get to attack. Mahan will hold target. Um, Mahan go that way at eight knots. We lost target. Are you kidding me right now? And here comes the tub charges. Dive planes haven't changed. Alright, Kearney. Now I know that I could manually do this, these depth charges, save myself a lot of ammunition expenditure, and probably, uh, anyway, I could do this manually, I'm aware of that. I've done it in the past manually. However, I do like letting the units do it because it feels more, I don't know, uh, Immersive? I don't know how to explain it other than that. K 
Okay, Mahan. This way. Wait, Mahan, why are you going 16 knots? Please, slow your roll. 8 knots is fine. Just keep target. No trying to evade people, please. Who keeps speeding up the ship? Follow my orders, goddammit. Go ahead, Abril. Do a depth charge. Run. You're probably going to be able to do it before Kearney gets up there. Depth charges have been tossed.
Uh, she's coming up fairly fast. The burl cease. All back. Rudder amidships. Actually, no. I've changed my mind. Go ahead, do what you want. Are you doing what you want? Get out of here. All ahead flank. Stop. Why are you still throwing death charges? I told you to stop. Cease. All right. Well, that's a sunk submarine. Yeah, we went through a bit of depth charges there. Alright, let's go ahead and retreat out of here. Forty-five and fifteen. We have enough to stay out in the station. So our first ASW engagement of the series. Very good. I was beginning to wonder if subs were actually in this version of the game. But yeah, we, we did not see any torpedo effects in sonar. Um, and I swear those were torpedoes that went past the bow of the Mahan. But there were no torpedoes on the map. So not sure what's up with that. Maybe the mod hides torpedoes in the map for the player, which I'm not sure how I feel, especially when it's pitch black as that was. I could, I definitely couldn't visually see the torpedoes 
so I needed to rely on sonar and sonar would have definitely been able to pick up hydrophone effects at that point blank of range no way it would not have been all over sonar <clears throat> but I digress It's evening time. Darwin has pulled into Moresby and would like to rear. How's Moresby looking? Okay. Thirty-eight hours to be back in theater. Am I pulling Invasion Force Australia away too soon? Let's just delay. Head back. I'm going to deposit some troops on Kandari next. The Darwin should be available to cover the invasion. I don't see why she won't. These guys just sitting around because I didn't give them enough juice. Yep. My bad. Head on up to Midway. Enterprise. I want you to do the exact same thing. You have planes that need to be refit. Oops. All right, it's five in the morning. Yeah, this will be a little earlier than we usually end an episode, however. Compared to the last episode where just so much was happening and it got lengthy again off in the three hour mark. I guess we'll we'll offset last last episode with this episode being a little shorter. Um <clears throat> So we have opened up the sea lanes. Uh logistically we're accomplishing our goals. We do need to rebuild Milne, sadly, uh, but that's not going to be an issue. We'll be able to take care of that relatively promptly. Um, Enterprise is going to need to refill her aircraft, so she's heading on back. Pensacola, of course, needs more ammunition. Uh, so he, so the Pensacola Task Force is obviously heading back. Darwin has already resupplied its aircraft by stopping in at Moresby to do so, um, using the supplies there. So the Darwin is going to be heading back into the theater here 
to uh, help push on the East Indies a little bit further. Going after Kendari next. So steady progress. Steady progress is the is the name of the game here. Uh, we have a ship that just pulled into Tarawa. That's Amphib Group One. They still have their stuff on them, so we're gonna unload all cargo. All right, we have a fair number of troops here. Don't really have the greatest number of supplies, so our supply to troop offset isn't isn't exactly kosher. Um, the Amphib Group is going to do something that it doesn't do often, and it's gonna actually. RTB all the way back to Midway and take part in transporting supplies from Midway. As we're expecting a bit extra at Midway come next payday, uh, well, a bit extra as in double what, norm what we normally get. So that should give this fleet um, plenty of, of stuff to haul. Uh, where are we obviously going next? Well, that's the other reason we're coming back with these guys is the carrier is off to refit airplanes. So we can't necessarily send the invasion force in to take over Shortland next because there is, of course, the opportunity that Rabul and the remainder of Kavang will strike and well, they need carrier escort. So, Shortland is next up on the American roster. So, Tarawa, uh, the invasion force is going to head back to Midway Island, going to get a full complement, and it's going to head back down here to Shortland. The carrier will easily have gotten back, rearmed, and be back down here to, to cover that. Uh, Task Force Pensacola, our bombardment group, is obviously going to rearm and is going to come back down here and try well, and is going to finish off Kavang first and then is going to run into Rabul and dump the rest of its ammo on, on Rabul. So I see Kavang being completely eliminated with the first strike, leaving two thirds of ammo left. With that two thirds of ammo, Rabul being kind of a fortress, I expect it'll still be at level one, even after firing two shots. Maybe even remain at two, but I think we'll we'll, we'll knock it down to one with two shots. Or we might level the port to one and leave the airfield at two. But I don't. Of the four remaining infrastructure, I only see it going down from four infrastructure to three infrastructure. Which then means the, uh, the task force will need to escape with a heavy air contingent being supplied by the carrier. Doesn't need that much of a heavy air contingent. 18 planes will do because Rubula is down to a level two airfield. So it'll be fine. It'll work. We'll make it happen. There, there won't be any problems. It'll go off without a hitch. So says I. We'll see if that really is the case. <clears throat> um, we got 83 command points in the bank. Uh, with the next infusion of cash, we're looking to be getting an additional... 54. Uh, so that'll have us up around the 130 range. What are we going to do with that? I know people would like to see me get British subs, but I'm not doing it. Uh, I I feel like British subs is not necessarily a cheat, but uh, well, historically, were there really British subs floating around here? I mean, I know a lot of things that have happened in this episode aren't anywhere near historical. 
Um, but I'm just not about to spend 40 command points on a submarine. It's bad enough I'm having to spend 30 command points. And yes, I realize the British subs torpedoes are going to be, well, effective. Uh, but I think we need to deal with with the U.S. ineffective torpedoes. That's That's part of the charm of it. It's part of the handicap of it. It's part of the frustration we need to endure. So I'm sticking with the American Gatos, but then again, I said I wasn't going to go past four, and I meant it. We're not going to go past these four. These four are enough subs. Maybe I might go back around my word on that in six or eight episodes from now. Uh, maybe I'll feel like I'll want another two subs out there or something. But for now, four is enough. So what are we going to spend the cash on then? Well, we could certainly save it for all of the bogues we're going to be buying. That would probably be the wise course of action. However, in the short term, the near, near, near future, I might want to get a couple more ASW task forces out there operating. If, in fact, um, the computer is going to start to utilize its submarines more. I don't know if we saw that submarine and we experienced that submarine because of the fact that the computer has taken so many losses to its capital ships that now it's decided to start using subs more frequently. And if that is the case, then we're going to start needing to rely on more ASW task forces to keep our logistical lanes open and secure. So in my mind, temporarily with these points we're getting, I think they'd be best put into a couple more ASW task forces out there maintaining our shipping lanes. But what do you guys think? And while I know I might not actually act on what you guys think, it's always interesting to hear what your ideas are. Anyway, other than that, please smash that like button, consider subscribing, and until the next time all, peace.